Hello YouTube, welcome to another watch review here on Watch On Channel. My name is Anas and today we're going to review this watch right here. So this is a ball watch and this is a special ball watch. This is the model called the Fireman Nightbreaker. And this one is a custom made watch. So they were a you were actually able to order this watch and put together whatever you wanted. So you could choose the dial color, you could choose the dial layout, you could choose uh, which color these tritium looms, as you can see here, these are tritium looms, which color they should have uh, when it's dark, you could choose uh, what bracelet and different, a lot of different stuff you could choose uh, about this watch for this watch. And I chose this model. So this is kind of a, it looks kind of a, like a field watch, but it still has kind of a dress watch look uh, to it in, in, for some, in some ways, I think. So as you can see here, we have a, a watch with a very special kind of circular dial. So you have the dial is built in like in, in three different uh, phases. You have the inner part of the dial with the, the circular uh, etchings here. And then you have the other dial with the minute and hour markings. And, and the hour markings are actually tritium looms as I just showed you. So this is what Ball Watch Company, the switch Swiss watch company is very famous for, it's the tritium loom. So these are the biggest tritium looms Ball watch company has done so far. They are one and a half millimeter tall. And these are filled with uh, tritium, which is a lightly radioactive material with which glows all the time. So it doesn't only glow when it's dark like a regular loom. This glows all the time and actually one of the companies who used to use a lot of tritium in the watches to get the loom effect was uh, Rolex. And my Rolex GMT Master is now 26 years old and it's completely dead. So the tritium often has like a, a, a life of lifespan of 25 to 35 years. And this uh, is supposed to have a lifespan of about 25 years. So in about 25 years, it will stop blowing and then you have no uh, loom left in this watch. But until 10 and 25 years is a lot of time. You have this amazing loom with these big, big tubes. As you can see here, they're, they're hand built and hand crafted into the watch here. So you get this very uh, different kind of loom with this ball watch. Let's have some dimensions before we get into the different details about this watch and what I really, really like about this custom made Swiss made ball watch. And we have a diameter of about 40 millimeters perfect size a thickness of 11.5 including the crown we get 44 from lock to lock 48.7 and the lock width the bracelet size uh, lock width is 20 millimeters so what we have here is a very classic uh, kind of size of watch, ball watch actually often do very big watches because they do these big, big dive watches and big, big different kind of tool watches. So this watch is called the Ball Fireman Nightbreaker. <clears throat> and the idea with this watch is that it's actually a watch built for firemen. And I'm not a fireman, but I really, really like the, the idea of being able to design your own watch uh, and I really like the, the look of this watch. I think it looks completely different from uh, what we see uh, with a lot of watches. Also, um, what was interesting about this watch was the price because it was a pre-order. So you design your watch and then you wait for several months before it gets delivered to your home address. Uh, the good thing is that Ball pays all the custom and, and VAT charges. So that was pretty nice. Uh, so you design the watch. You can uh, choose between black and white and blue dial colors and all the different details I just told you about. And then you design the watch and you get it sent to your home address. And I really think that uh, this watch was, was priced at just around 1,000 Swiss francs, which is about 1,000 US dollars. 
I think you get a lot for the money and that was why I pre-ordered it. I really like the idea of trying a ball watch because it's been a company I've been looking into for quite some time, but I also like the idea of designing my own watch and having a watch that was just a little more special and very different to a lot of other watches I see out in the market. And at this price point, I really think you get a super, super nice watch. I don't really know if this watch is available to, uh, to purchase now, uh, or you can design it still now, but check out Ball Watch Company's uh, website or write them an email if you're interested in this watch. So I really like the dial layout as we just uh, I just mentioned. You get the 4, 8 and 12, and then you also get the minute markings inside here. In the inner part of the dial, you get Ball officially standard uh, up here, the Ball logo. I really, really like the Ball logo. I think the Ball logo is one of the classiest logos you have out uh, in the market. Actually, it's uh, it's automatic and it's water resistant down to 100 meters of, of depth, which is pretty, pretty nice for a watch that I'm not ever going to dive with. It's not actually a dive watch, but you could use it as a dive watch. So that's very interesting. Also a very interesting thing about this, you can see down here, T Swiss made. The T down here, it, it uh, indicates that it, the, the, the pips here, the tubes, as Paul called them, the tubes are filled with tritium. So it indicates, the T indicates tritium. And then you get a date window out, out here at three o'clock with a very nice uh, magnifier, just like we know from Rolex. And it actually works, it magnifies very well. Everything is super aligned and looks super uh, nice. I like these uh, baton hands. We have uh, the hour and minute hands, pointy baton hands. I like them uh, also, as you can see here, you've got, a, if you can just sense it, you've got a tritium, you've got tritium tubes also in the, in the hands. As you can see here, you have this very nice red second hand, which really gives a nice contrast to the whole look of the watch. It is a bit of a smudge magnet because it's high polish, as you see here. You get this high polish uh, on the whole of the case. A, a detail I really, really like is the curved locks. I always go on and rave on about curved locks uh, in my videos. and But I really like it because it just is such an easy thing to do for a watch company. And it really makes the watch hug your wrist much much better. It it really fits to accustoms to your, your wrist. If we look at the crown here, as you can see here, you get a signed crown with the ball logo very nice. On the back of the watch, we get uh, a testament to watch uh, ball watches heritage of being a train timing watch company. You get the different details here about the, uh, the water resistance and stuff like that. It is of course uh, anti-reflective coating treated uh, sapphire crystal, which is completely flat, which I really like, which gives this watch a nice a kind of a compact look on the wrist. Also a very interesting thing uh, about this watch is the bracelet. So this is a stainless steel bracelet. As you can see, you get this uh, kind of very, very, uh, very, very intricate, almost kind of brushing, but it's probably a kind of a more raw uh, brushing uh, or polishing. And then you get the inner links here and they are high polish, so it looks really, really great. It reminds me a bit of uh, the Patek Philippe uh, uh, Nautilus uh, bracelet. Also, um, you get this uh, butterfly clasp, and then you get the ball logo down here as well. So very, very nice, nice design, and it looks, I think a, a great thing about this watch is that it actually looks more expensive than it is. Than it is. So I'm just wiping off the watch. As I said, it's a smudge magnet. So let me try to see if we can get a nice look of the tritium. So the thing about the tritium is it doesn't glow as 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 much as, a, for example, a Seiko watch, a Seiko loom or a nice Rolex loom. But it glows all the time. It's not as strong, but it's 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 glowing all the time, and it looks really really cool. So I hope you can sense it here. You can see. The 12 o'clock is orange and then you get green loom on the hands and all the hour markings. So it's it looks pretty, pretty nice, I think, uh, with the tritium. You can also sense it here. It glows all the time and of course during nighttime it, it gets really, really glowy. And we got the light back on here. So inside this watch ticks and a very... Uh, 
modified ETA 2824-2, so they call it a ball caliber, but it's actually an ETA movement. Okay, and here we have the watch on my wrist. I have a 7.1 inch wrist, which is about uh, eight, 17 and a half to 18 centimeters. So this is how it looks. And I think it, it's a really nice watch to wear. It wears very nice, uh, of course, because of these curved locks, as you can see here. You can see all the polishing and the way they did the bracelet. It's high, high quality. So this is how it looks on my wrist. And I must say, I really enjoy this watch. It's very different from a lot of other watches in my collection and a lot of watches I see around when I see what people are wearing on their wrists. Okay, so you probably get the feeling, the vibe that I really, really enjoy this watch. And I, it's pretty good that I enjoy it since I pre-ordered it and I can't deliver it back, but I really enjoy it. It's a very nice watch to wear. It looks uh, super cool on the wrist. It's different. It's like a tool watch, a field watch, but it's still very dressy. And I just like a lot of stuff about this watch. The dial is very well done. And I like the, the 3D look you get with the uh, tritium tubes in the watch. So I also actually like the bracelet. It's very comfortable, but we have one big problem with this watch. If, you, if your wrist is much smaller than my wrist or much larger, you will have probably have a little trouble adjusting it. it you don't have any micro adjustments in this, so you can only remove links. Also, I think that the, the clasp is a big problem. It, it works, uh, it's quality and it, it's tough and it's durable and it works. But what we got, we got a problem with the ball logo, as you can see here, it, go, it, it goes over here. So you have to close this one and then you close the, and then you get a, got a closure, but you don't have any push button or you don't have any kind of a thing to just pull it out. So you really have to, to use your strength to open it. So I think that actually my biggest problem with this watch is probably that it's actually the clasp. I don't think it's, it's, it's quality, but it's kind of hard to operate. Also, um, as you can see during this review, this watch is a smudge magnet. You really just get smudges all over this watch. But all in all, I really love and enjoy this ball watch, this ball fireman nightbreaker. Very interesting watch, also with a high uh, anti-magnetic uh, protection. So this is actually also very anti-magnetic, so you can use it uh, if you're an engineer or uh, if you work somewhere with a uh, high magnetism. This was my review of the Ball Nightman Firebreaker Custom Made Swiss Made Watch. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave me a thumbs up. It's a, it's a big help. Uh, leave a comment down below. Remember to follow my channel on Instagram and Facebook where I post a lot of pictures and different stuff. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel by hitting the logo button down here in the right corner. Then you get a notification whenever I release new video. And I have a lot of new videos coming out. My name is Anas. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.